It's Lady Zamar, Collider on 947, 27 minutes after 3 o'clock. Multi award winning South African comedian Lois Ogola is set to take over Johannesburg with a series of shows for his long running stand up comedy show. Check. Ladies and gentlemen, Lois Ogola! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sata. Thank you very much. Thank you for... The, you guys are just always pleasant to hang out with. No, I, you, I mean, you're, you're not too bad yourself. The Thank last you. time you were here, you came bearing fridges. Remember? Oh, yeah. That was a... That was a that, you guys... Like, there's people walking by staring at me like I just stole a baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are they waving at you now? So I don't think they think you stole... Welcome to Monty. A baby. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, the last time we were promoting the Netflix special... Yes. And I, I was carrying fridges around, but I was tired. Who are these people? They're your fans. They're showing you love. Action West. Netball, Western Province. Nobody of respects netball. N- no. Excuse me. What? Every black girl plays netball and they take it so seriously. It's the most nonsense sport ever. You know why it's a nonsense sport? It's because you don't get netball shoes. A sport without its own shoes. Of course, they, they are do. netball they are shoes. Get out of here. There's no such. You can play netball in all stars. No, you Sorry. can't <laughs> play netball. Shut up. Some people have, have to it? play netball in all stars. <laughs> but up. there's actually shoes for netball. What are you talking about? Black women need to top, stop taking netball so seriously. Is this a popular culture that we can expect on your show? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. What is your show about? It's just about like um, stuff. It's about stuff. I. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to describe shows, but it, it's about stuff. I, 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 I talk about culture, right? And so we interrogate culture in a specific way, but people never think that maybe the idea of Jesus was a popular culture idea. Like if it's... Christianity is the most popular culture, mm-hmm. right? It, and that's popular culture, you know? But they always think of popular culture, Beyonce, the Kardashians, sport athletes, and it's an interrogation of those kind of ideas. That I mean, it's less didactic, but it's... Mm. it's hey, it's, hey, mm. you know you live in London for six years and then you're telling us about didactic. No, man, I've been using the word didactic <laughs> since I was a teenager. Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> Tell us about living in London and the world and what that influences in terms of talking popular culture. I think, like, um, London has got so much, man. I think... The idea of moving to a new place just expands. It's it's the equivalent of like reading ten new books mm. in that in that way. It just expands your thinking and your ideology. And I and for me, London is like one of the best places in the world to do stand up comedy. And that's why I moved there. That's why I like okay, I need to ro- locate to that to this particular place and and take my craft. There. We uh, I actually got to go with you to one of your yeah. comedy clubs. We'll talk about that. We have to take news. We're hanging out with Lois Ogola. His show Popular Culture runs at the Theatre on the Square in Santon from April the 17th to the 29th. We speak more on comedy and of course the show next. It's the Imagine Dragons. Follow you on 947. 20 minutes before we hit 6 o'clock, we're hanging out with Lois Ogola. He's got a brand new show Popular Culture. It runs at the Theatre on the Square in Santon from the the 17th to the 29th of April. What's the difference in performing in Sata versus in London town? In London, is this, I don't know. Is this the same? You know, like, have, have I told you how good I am as a comic? Wow. I love the company. <laughs> No, but so I mean, it doesn't I've seen really you matter. Work. Like it doesn't matter to me, man. I'm such a blazing act that you can put me anywhere on God's planet, and I'll just be able Shame, to. Shame, no lies, because you took me to a comedy place, and there was one lady who went before you, or a guy who went before you, and it was awkward. Like it got really. I feel like the London audience is maybe a little bit tougher. No. The opposite. It, n- if you're good, these things are not a problem. So when oh, Angie, it doesn't matter where you where. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm just good at stand-up. And I know it sounds cocky, but I really am. Yeah. It's like if you, sometimes it's like, uh, I'm like, it's, it's the one thing I'm really confident about. I'm like, put me anywhere. So when you ask me those questions, those questions don't pertain to me. But is, is there not times where you think, yes, I've got a Maguinha joke that will bang, mm. but it's a London audience that does not understand what Maguinha is? Yeah, but I mean, you can explain it or try to explain it and that could be funny in itself or you could deem it irrelevant to this particular crowd. Mm. I try things a lot, but audiences are audiences to me. I never, I try not to differentiate because the minute I do that, I put them in boxes. A lot of people go, don't put us in boxes. Just tell them things. Like, I usually tell people very interesting things. Like, I, re- I realized the other day I found out where the teddy bear comes from. The person who invented the teddy bear. So when <laughs> I tell that on stage, it's going to be such an interesting thing. Is that in popular culture? It, no, no, no. It's so for can, my you next can tell show. us? No? Yeah, I can tell you. I mean, President Roosevelt, he, they went bear hunting. He went hunting with his friends. He didn't get a bear. 
he didn't shoot a bear, mm-hmm. and then to make him feel better, <laughs> they made him one. Yeah, they just made him one. Wow. Uh, so it was it was mean in the first place. <laughs> yeah, it was like, and then they they just go, oh, here's the, yeah, you didn't shoot a bear, here's a bear, and then he, yeah, he was Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy bear. Mm, I want to have a random. Uh, it's not Teddy bear related. It's a random conversation about your purse. Um, so it's yeah, a, it's a yeah, it's a pouch. It's listen. <laughs> what I find fascinating is like how people like now in the zeitgeist of the world we talk about gender and the fluidity and yes. whatever. But people will mess. Will will talk about my purse like it's a like it's like a gender specific it. thing, right? And I'm like, yeah, but. One end, you're talking people are gender fluid and whatever. You're like, I'm, and people are like, oh, you, that's a woman's watch. I'm like, yeah, but I thought you were a gender. Correct. You know what I mean? So <laughs> these people just tend to float in and out of these ideas. They're not consistent with the ideas. Mm. Maybe they, so for me, I like the purse because it's a very practical thing. Women's fashion is highly practical. Yeah, correct. So some, so I just sometimes dip into it, it's, women's stuff. It's funny though. What, what other women's stuff do you do? <laughs> I wear thongs. I wear thongs. Okay. What <laughs> else? Practical. No, I don't wear <laughs> thongs. Please, yes. Thongs are the least practical thing. <laughs> you look at a thong, you're like, how does anyone wear this thing? <laughs> no, there's no way. I'm not wearing a thong. Come oh on. my gosh. I mean, in the show in London, the one, I didn't even notice you had a purse on you until somebody in the audience uh, s- mentioned. It's like, yeah, what? what's in the purse, mate? <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, it's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're giving us such a bad rep in South Africans. <laughs> Luis Ogala is in the building. We wrap our conversation with him next. It's uh, Jeremy Loops, Better Together on 947. Wrapping up our conversation with Luis Ogola. He's got a brand new show, Popular Culture. It runs at Theatre on the Square in Santon. Get your tickets on Quicket. It's uh, running from the 17th to the 29th. It says, yeah, before jetting off to other cities, where else are you going? Probably go to Cape Town. At the moment, I've got like, there's some dates that I'm working on. I might... There's a strong possibility of Brisbane. I might do Canada. Mm. I'm going to try to take it as many places as possible. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're hoping one day will be as amazing as you. So we're going to uh, give you some quick fire jokes. Why? You, uh, you bring me here to oh, torture me. That's the problem. It's going to be fun. Okay, okay, fine. Go. So quick jokes. and then the I first... already hate them. Oh, Just for the on. record. I hate. <laughs> Is it I, the music? Is it I the... hate everything about the jokes you Just be more open-minded, mates. All right, cool. Okay, here we go. First one. I once had a fight. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> if you go, laugh, go. I win. Go, so go, don't go. laugh. Oh, okay, I mustn't laugh. Yeah, and this is funny. Okay, I once cool, had go. a fight in the toilet. Serious ish went down. Yeah, I know. Forget about <clears> this. <throat> I, I, oh, I, got, I got a joke. Can I, can I have one? How, Luiso? Shut up, man. Let oh, me try. This is my show. I know it's, this is your show. It's your I, world. I, we live in it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, um, what? It's going did, well. What did the banana. Oh, oh Wrong sorry. word. Bad word. Sorry. Okay, I messed that up. No, but that's a I'm, bad word. Uh, that's a horrible word. I forgot it. Okay, while well, you think about it, Matt. I saw a sign the other day that said, Watch for children. And I thought, what a good trade. Uh, you a, guys <laughs> That's a good joke That's a, that's a good, bad joke That's, that's a, a bad word And a bad joke I think I've just got him On my side Like what in, <laughs> What in what? the Non-daytime radio Is happening oh, I'm trying to think Of this I, I'll tell you about my. It what, better be a great my joke favorite, My favorite joke In the world In the entire planet Is a Chris Rock joke Ugh. Can, from the 90s, can I tell so you? If, okay. As long as it's, it's a joke, it's just a fun. It says, Do you know what it means when you earn minimum wage? What? It means that if I could pay you less, I could. It's just against the law. <laughs> That's not funny, Lisa. Uh, it's hilarious. It's I've an got, observation. It's an observation. Okay, yes. I've got one. Spring uh, is here. I got so excited, I wet my plants. <laughs> <laughs> You laughed. Ladies and gentlemen, Lois Okola's brand new show. You better get your tickets at Quicket. Uh, it's oh. called Popular Culture. On Quicket, it's called Popular Culture. It plays at Theatre on the Square between the 17th to the 29th of April. Give it up for Lois Okola. I'm, so, I'm sorry for the F-bomb. Yeah, and it's profanity. Bye. <laughs> 947 Drive with Tando. This is 947.